let me welcome you to the Sandon Memorial Chapel here in the sleepy village of Burclare in Berkshire. We're but a few miles outside of the busy market town of Newry, but you'd never believe it. And next door is Highclere, Highclere Castle or Downton Abbey as most people now know it. Now this building behind me, this rather austere, unpresupposing building, was completed in 1926 and is now in much need of care and restoration. But behind those plain oak doors lies a world masterpiece. Alison Patton, the assistant chapel steward, continues the story. The, the, the building came about as a result of, of uh, Sir Stanley Spencer's um, wish to create um, his holy box. Every day when I arrive, it's always so peaceful and so quiet and the excitement of opening the chapel doors in the morning and the contrast from the bright outside to the dark inside is always incredibly powerful. Many of our visitors find um, the experience incredibly emotional and we often see visitors in tears. Um, and this is sometimes through perhaps because they had their own relatives who'd served in the First World War or simply because of the power of the art um, because this is an amazing unique piece of work there is nothing like it um, I think one of the most popular um, paintings within the chapel is bread and jam and I think because it's homely you know everybody can associate the idea of bread and jam and it's also got enormous social history because in the painting you've got um, all of the injured um, servicemen in their blue suits and red ties and the reason they wore those was that when they went out people knew that they were injured servicemen. I work in Didworth House which is a recovery centre supported by Help for Heroes um, and the Royal British Legion. I work for a volunteering organisation called Worldwide Volunteering and we inspire wounded, injured and sick people to get involved in voluntary projects as part of their rehabilitation. Um, I think the chapel is an incredibly unique place. Being ex-military myself, uh, I feel that the paintings in the chapel depict something which is very different to what you normally see in World War I paintings. It's not necessarily the front line and the trenches and battle. It is more on the background scenes, which, we, which happens every day. It's the laundry, it's the convoys, it's people sitting around waiting for what the officer's going to tell them. And obviously they share the same humour as we do these days, and seeing that contrast is fantastic. As an injured soldier, you can fully realise, although technology and the whole situation has moved on from World War I to Afghanistan, the situations the soldiers find themselves in when they're not fighting is not actually that much different. As a volunteer, you, you've, you've planned your whole life is going to be in the army and then it, suddenly it's not because of your injuries or illness. And it's realising that there's something that you can offer beyond the army and use your experiences to, to help in other situations like maintaining beautiful places like this. The Sandham 2014 project is all about legacy um, and therefore that is taking Sandham um, beyond 2014 up to the end of the anniversary which is 2018-2019 because of course that's when the Salonika campaign ended but it's really important that every single pound matters because um, even though it doesn't sound very much a pound can buy a brick um, and lots of people's pounds make quite a lot of money so it doesn't matter how much you can give um, every little helps as they say if you would like to help us then you can go to our website which is www.nationaltrust.org.uk forward stroke sandham dash memorial dash chapel or you can donate to the chapel itself. The staff and volunteers here at the Sandham Memorial Chapel have raised over half of the £400,000 that we urgently need to complete this project. But now we need your help to complete the task.